Hey guys, what's going on? It's DKA and welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory. So then guys, right now we are playing with our Stopple Camp team. But today guys, later on we do actually change, we play some co-op today as well. But we do actually change to a different team and then I'm changing again, as I said last episode. But yeah, into the gameplay. So Stopple Camp just scored a goal. Royce got close there with a bicycle kick effort. And now he's on the attack, but Goretzka with a great sliding tackle. He's played it into Usman Dembele. What a roulette. And it's a finish from Usman Dembele that I bet you were all expecting from that position. Usman is one of the best five, well, 7K players on this game. Yeah, he's only 7K, right? I bought him for 30K like three weeks ago, but I'm never going to sell him, let's be honest. Unless I'm desperate for coins and he goes up to like 15K. I will never sell this card, but yeah, good fake shot from Usman, and then a bridge dribble, and a ball roll, and a nice shot, and Pope had no chance. Okay, so on the A attack again, played in Felipe Anderson, and he's gone for a finesse shot, but he hasn't been able to win it. Atal does not win the header, and now he's trying to come on the attack with Song, but De Jong wins it, and he plays it into Atal, he's played it into Stoppelkamp, back into Atal, into Fatty, with the space, finesse shot near post, and it's a goal. And, um, yeah, now my opponent coming on the attack here, and it's a good win. Goretzka just about winning that, and a nice pass from uh, Usman into Fatty. And Goretzka's making a charging run here. He's in, good touch. And he somehow scored that pass, Nick Pope. He really should be doing better there. By the way, guys, if goalkeepers aren't, the goalkeepers aren't actually Nick Pope, then I'm saying it because most keepers are. And, um, yeah, Goretzka now making his way down the right-hand side. Goretzka playing it into De Jong. Sees two players in space. Plays it into uh, Fatty. Lovely flick over his head. And it is a good save from the keeper. And that is a chance that goes begging. We're on the attack again here. Played into Dick Miner. Who plays it into Diego Carlos. Who has come up from the corner. Klossman now. There we go. Ball in from Lucas Klossman. And a goal from Marco Royce. What a cross from Klossman. Who, did, who was a right-back last year. And a good header from Marco Royce. He wasn't actually known for his heading. Isn't actually known for his heading. But yeah, surprised he scored that. But it was a nice header and a nice goal. Right. Throw in. Bang. Into Stoppelkamp. Touch from Stoppelkamp. Nice little turn. Bridge dribble. Near post. On his left foot. Near post. With all the power in the world. And he struck it in. What a goal from Stoppelkamp. He is a really good player, guys. Surprisingly. But yeah, back on the attack again after Fatty has scored and uh, for him. And Fatty's about to score a kickoff goal. Pretty lucky there. But yeah, we have got it level once again. These are from multiple games over the weekend, guys. So don't worry about it. So much effort has gone into the past two videos. It's unreal. Um, I've had one video just waiting for a week. And then I've had this video waiting for a couple of days. And I decided, you know what, let's do them all at once. But I swept from Usman into Stopple Camp, And that's another goal for the German machine. And, um, yeah, there we go. So, the game is over. And it is actually a pretty decent result because I think we win. Uh, Stoppelkamp got two goals and no assists. But Goretzka got an assist. Fatty got an assist. Two assists from Dembele and one from Lucas Klosterman. And it was a 5-3 loss, actually. No, a 5-3 loss. It said I won. Don't worry, we'll see in a minute. We either won 5-3 or lost 5-3. I'm guessing that visual, visual glitch is still a thing, but I don't notice it really because games, I mean games. Are, yeah, yeah, we definitely won. I can see ahead. We do get extra score rating. But yeah, there we go. So we actually won that game. Uh, back up to over 1,400 score rating, uh, which is now back down to like 1,200 again. Yeah, I'm just dropping down the visions ever since the new patch. But yeah. In this video, guys, we do have some insane packs, and we do make a big signing who we sell after, like, two games. Because he was shit, <laughs> basically. And I don't rate him. I've never rated him. I used him last year. Um, I used him twice last year, actually. I even packed him last year when he was worth so much money. Didn't like him at all. But, yeah, uh, and I don't like him this year either. So, yeah, that is basically it for this part of the video. I hope I don't actually sell my play. No, I don't. Good. But yeah, I think now we actually go through stats because this was all the gameplay I did for Sunday or Saturday. But we do play a bit more. But yeah, um, goals and assists wise. I confirm we're one game, no goals. Uh, take share out to Gnarly. No, nothing really no, noticeable from them. Do tell us good nine games, four goals, three assists. Long hasn't done much. Ake, 46 games and one goal. Sissoko, 18 games. 
uh, 12 games, 4 assists for Felipe Anderson. 10 games, 1 goal, 4 assists. 4 games, nothing. 19 games, 3 games, 3 games and 1 assist. Okay, why why have you stopped? 19 games and nothing. Uh, 8 games and assist. Stopple camp, 6 games, 5 goals and no assists. Absolutely brilliant from the man. It's really good. Um... Goretzka, three games, one goal, two assists. I actually really like him. So, yeah. De Jong, three games, no goals, one assist. Uh, Dembele, 29 games, 21 goals and 12 assists. Royce, three games, one goal and no assists. And then 60 games, 59 goals and like 30-something assists. Absolutely insane record for Ansu Fati. Like Fati, Dembele um, and Stoppelkamp. Those three up front were sick. And now we're into some cop gameplay with Jack who is one of my friends, and he he gets the ball here with Stopple Camp, and he plays it into Gretzka, who is me at the minute. I am red, he's blue. So I play it into him, um, who plays it back out to me. Um, I play it back inside. He plays it across. I play him in. What a ball, and what a goal from Jack. And I finish from Fatty as well. And we're back on the attack in again here. I play the ball to Taliska. No, actually, yeah, to Fatty. And... Um, yeah, unfortunately, but he picks the ball back up with Goretzka. So I decide, you know what? Sit down, Van Dijk, mate. Have that. I just agile dribbled round the best defender on the game with Ousmane Dembele, who cost 8k, and scored. So he is absolutely insane, obviously. But yeah, run the attack again here. I pick up the ball. Should have played it to stop or count, but I don't. Jack actually wins a foul there, but he gets the ball a second time. Nick Pope isn't ready, and it's a lovely finesse shot from Ansu Fati. Now, Jack actually said that Ansu Fati was the best player he used in my team. So, uh, everyone loves Ansu Fati. But, yeah, good interception from Jack. Ball played into me. 90th minute, doing keepy-uppies. And, you know, we're going to finish this game off. 5-2. No, 4-2. What a game. What a game. And now we're into a really spicy pack as we pack Trent from a Premier League three-player pack. Oh my god, he's not a good right back, but as a centre mid, maybe. Maybe. And um, yeah, now we also have a pack to open. It is a mega pack, I don't know why that turned up. That was meant to be showing up later, but it's fine. And it is a walkout. Brazilian walkout. Goalkeeper, Alisson. Oh, it's Edison, but that is sick. Edison in a pack. You dab, I'm discarding you. Please don't. Oh, thank god. Oh, oh, toxic, man, toxic. But yeah, the 22.5k thing was meant to go here, just to show that I got 22.5k. But now we're into today's stuff, and um, we go buy some. That's the main thing of this episode. Other than that, um, Edison pack and Trent pack. I've had some pretty decent pack, though, by the way. Also pack a, um, packed a Team of the Week in form Veghorst and Havertz in the same pack from our Black Friday objectives, which I forgot to record. Yay. But yeah. Um, not going to be able to use Havertz, and Vegas is just SBC fodder, so don't worry about it. If it was, like, Griezmann, I probably would have, like, clipped the pack, took a picture. But yeah, we, we are going to go buy Semedo. Um, and, you know what, that one's fine enough, because I'm hoping I have an anchor in the club, and if I don't, they're, like, 400 coins, which is absolutely mental. Uh, the next, and that is pretty much it for players we need to buy, because Joseph Idu, who is in the team at the minute, is someone we're going to be taking out. By the way, guys, he doesn't even go into my new team. Uh, so yeah, a bit unfortunate, but yeah, Diego Cars can come back in. It's only 95 Kemp, which might be one of the reasons why I didn't like the team, because there were so many players off Kemp. In the Stopple Kemp team, only Klosterman and Fatty were off chemistry. And now we've got, like, what, one, two, three, four players off Kemp. Ew, I, I need to have, like, maximum three, in my opinion. And with the new team I'm designing, one player's off cam, who will be playing centre mid, which will be Trent. Um, another player will be off cam. And then there will be also be Fatty. Off cam, as usual, will be Fatty, of course. Um, but we used to him off cam in history. He is really good. Um, bit of a hint, guys. Son is crap. I don't like Hyun Min Son, and I didn't like him last year, and I don't like him this year, so we will eventually sell him. But there is an objective that came out last night. Um, obviously, tonight is team to group stage. Uh, new shot card. Could be a potential player on the team. Coman, another left winger. No, thank you. But, yeah, even though we could link in with um, Goretzka, who I do like, 
but it's just a lot of effort, and I can't be bothered to make effort. I'd rather just play five games a week and get 20k. But yeah, now we're just going to do chem stars, consumables, and things like that. And this is actually a really, really good team um, on paper in game. It's not actually that good. Tomato's decent. It was mainly Son and Trent that were already bugging me. Like, Trent, I didn't rate him at centre mid, you know. I don't know what it was. He just didn't feel comfortable in that centre mid role. He's not a natural centre mid in game, so that's probably why. But we're going to keep using him there because he is Trent and he is a Liverpool player and he is going to be the new title for the team. Um, right now, guys, I'm thinking I'm still just going to keep calling this Stoppel Camp to Glory for this episode. And then last episode will probably be Stoppel Camp to Glory as well, maybe. But yeah, this is like mainly Stoppel Camp gameplay. Of course, and now we build a new team to set up next episode, which will probably be Trent Glory. Um, and I am actually really excited for this new idea, because it makes the game more engaging. I get a player, and no matter what rating they are, if they look a bit decent, I will use them, and I'll have fun with them. But yeah, we are left with 900 coins in the account. After I sell Son, I don't have many, but one of the players we are looking to get is Ryan Gravenberch, and you have to buy an Eredivisie team, and you have to make a, an Eredivisie team to score 15 goals, so I need to, at the weekend, I'm going to be scoring 15 goals, I could do that in the first game, depending on how nice my opponent is, to just let me score 15, and then I'll let him win, um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to do that straight away, get Graven Birch, get the new team, and have some fun, but after that, guys, at the minute, we have like 49,000 coins, after we do all that, um, and after we resell our Eredivisie team, we should be up to at least 55k, may probably more, maybe like 60k again. Um, so yeah, that, as a, give me recommendations what I can do. Uh, a couple of options are that new row to the fight and team of the group, say Gio Jota, if I can save up enough coins for him, and if he, his price drops a load, and also um, Bobby and Genie. But it just depends, because if I get Genie, I have four defensive players, if I get Bobby, I he, he's, he's kind of defensive, he's a defensive cam, somber style, false nine, striker cam, midfielder, centre-back. If you know what I mean, if you're a Liverpool fan, you'll know what that means, because that's what we describe Bobby as. I don't, I just call him crap, and I call him, uh, wish I was Mbappe. Wish he was Mbappe, indeed. But yeah, that is basically it for this episode, guys. This is all we've done. We've just got a load of gameplay, and then we've got some stuff. I have to go delete the clips from the Xbox Live so I can save up space. So I'm going to go do that now. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. It's been great to have you here. Um, this is our new team, so yeah. I'm going to skip until the last little bit, but that's the intro done. Like and subscribe if you are new. I do have a second channel as well, where I do Rocket League and F1, which I'm having a lot of fun doing. Uh, we're almost at the end of the first season, going into the second season, which is very exciting. So go over there, subscribe, and give my channel my videos likes, and go give me a sub. And don't have to turn um, the bell on. It's up to you guys. If you want to watch my videos at some point and you're a bit bored, you can just find me in your sub box. Uh, just watch the videos you can't watch and watch other YouTubers, you know. Because I'm not one of them YouTubers you're going to wait for me to upload a video and then go straight away and watch it. I'm one of those YouTubers when you're bored you're just going to flick on and you're just going to be like, what was this video like? But yeah, that's confirmation. We sold Sam for exactly how much we bought him for. So in the end, a loss of profit because obviously you lose 5% in the attacks, which is very unfortunate. But yeah. And that is the end of this video, guys. Also, do have an Instagram account for my YouTube channel. And it is just it's JK underscore YT. If you want to drop me a DM, because I don't play it much. But I've just got 15 goals with seven area of players in the team. <laughs> uh, very annoying there. But yeah, this Ryan Gravenberch does look like a mini Hullet with an anchor or a Sentinel. So I will be giving him a go in the team. Um, and you'll see that tomorrow. But he will be the new title player for the team once we get him. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will be using this Ryan Graf and Birch, hopefully. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.